Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this on Facebook, and every once in a while you get lucky, and it's a relatively easy fix. So we're gonna grab it, we're gonna go up to bitmap, we're gonna go to resample bitmap and make it 300. We're gonna go to bitmap, we're gonna convert it to a bitmap, or we're gonna convert it to black and white, and when you first do that, it looks like it's not gonna work. Go to bitmap and trace, outline trace, and this time I'm gonna use low quality image. It's done, move it over, left click, right click. That is a pretty sharp file that you would cut out and you could smooth out some of the stuff, uh, but it looks really good. And if you wanna look like what it looks like in black, and no hairline, it would work. Sometimes you get lucky. I actually tried it with my normal clip clip art, um, and it worked better with low quality this time and turning it black and white. So just, if things don't work out sometimes, just try different things. And like I said, there's a few things I might go through or take the smoothing tool and like smooth out some of these bigger shapes that have some sharp edges, but it's a tree item. It's pretty square on the outside. If you wanted it differently, I wasn't gonna do this, but I thought I'd go ahead and do this. Let's, uh, well, it's kind of connected all the way around, but if you wanted to straighten these lines, just grab your shape tool and go to the middle and delete these lines. Go to the middle and delete these lines. This, if you were gonna put this into a frame. And here you've got a corner. So let's just delete that one and delete that one. And then select both these and right click your mouse and turn them into a line. Now you can make that uh, as thick as you want or put it back to normal. And, and get rid of some of these waves in the nodes. And we can get rid of that one. And let's go, well, I'll tell you what, let's just do this side. Let's zoom in here. Grab our shape tool and let's delete all these nodes. Go ahead and delete that one. And then select that one and that one right click your mouse and turn it into a line and then you'd want to do the same thing on the inner part just grab that node you can hold down the shift key and grab that node right click and turn it into a line and then you could actually align the nodes and just depending on how perfect you want it to be see so like there's another node right there we could delete and it already looks a lot better. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.